So Apple finally launched their big peak performance devices and out of all of those, one of the most interesting thing was the all new Apple M1 Ultra chip. That is a combination of two of the Apple M1 Max chip. So in this video, let's compare the all new Apple M1 Ultra chip with that of Intel's latest offering. That's the Intel Core i9 12900K processor. Hey guys, all about technology 24 to 7 here. If you like what you're watching, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also like this video if you did. Let's now get started. So speaking about the Apple M1 Ultra, that's an amazing silicon processor from Apple. This is one of the greatest offerings that Apple has ever launched. So firstly, let's talk about the CPU cores and the base frequency of both the processors. So speaking about the cores, Apple M1 Ultra, as you all know that it's the combination of two Apple M1 Max. So here we get up to 20 cores CPU and up to 20 threads whereas on the i9 we get 16 cores and 24 threads hyper threading is there so that's pretty amazing theoretically we have more physical cores on the apple m1 ultra when compared with the i9 processor so the base frequency is 3.2 gigahertz on both but we get turbo boost on i9 whereas on the apple m1 ultra we don't have any reports of the processor boosting itself we get around 5.2 gigahertz on single core turbo boost and on all cores we get around 5 gigahertz of turbo boost on the i9 processor that's pretty amazing that's like damn fast when we compare it with the apple m1 ultra on its base frequency so talking about the configuration we get big little configuration on both of these processors which means when you're doing light task only the low power cores that's the high efficiency cores will be active whereas when you're doing heavier tasks like video editing or let's say gaming then both of the big and little cores will be active to provide you best possible performance so talking about hyper threading we get hyper threading on the intel i9 processor whereas we don't have hyper threading on the apple m1 ultra talking about the overclocking yes we definitely can overclock the intel i9 processor but on apple m1 ultra we just can't do that as of now there are no any reports of overclocking this processor that's for sure so speaking about the internal graphics on both of these which is one of the key factor these days on any processors so talking about apple m1 ultra we get around 64 core gpu yes Previously back in like 2020 end or start of 2021 we had rumors of Apple developing such a chip and now here we are we get 64 core GPU on this one and on the Intel i9 we get that standard Intel UHD graphics 770 so talking about GPU frequency as you can see on the screen we have around 1.3 gigahertz of frequency on Apple M1 Ultra on the Intel UHD graphics we only get around 0.3 gigahertz but do bear this in mind that's the base frequency we have the turbo frequency up to 1.5 gigahertz on intel whereas there is no turbo boost on apple m1 ultra so talking about generation yes intel i9 is the 11th generation processor whereas this is just the first generation apple m1 ultra speaking about the technology we have 5 nanometer technology on apple m1 ultra gpu whereas 10 nanometers on the intel uhd graphics definitely there is a huge gap here so with this we can say that the i9 processor graphics will definitely generate more heat when compared to the m1 ultra so talking about the display support definitely there are three display supports on both of these apple has improved on that that's pretty good so talking about the execution units as you can see we have 1024 execution units on m1 ultra whereas there are only 32 on the intel uhd graphics also other details are on the screen if you're interested you can pause the screen and have a look at that talking about the graphics performance guys definitely apple m1 ultra graphics should be much better than intel uhd graphics for sure so speaking about the ram i mean memory and pcie we have LPDDR5 RAM on the Apple M1 Ultra, whereas the memory is supported on the i9 are DDR4 3200 MHz and DDR5 at 4800 MHz. And the max memory supported is 128 GB on both of these. 
So talking about the memory channel, we have two on the Intel i9, whereas eight on the Apple M1 Ultra. And other specifications, as you can see, it's on the screen like the L2 cache, L3 cache which seems to be higher on the Apple M1 Ultra chip. So speaking about other stuff as you can see the PCIe version, PCIe lanes and stuff is here. You can pause the screen and have a look at that thermal management which will purely depend on how many watts does both of these CPU consume. Here it is. Definitely Apple M1 Ultra is a silicon processor. So considering this it will generate less heat and also it will consume less power for sure. Intel Core i9 processor, the base TDP is 125 watts, whereas max is 241 watts. That's a huge power consumption here. Talking about the Apple M1 Ultra, we have around 60 watts as you can see base and up to 120 watts. Moving on to other technical details, as we have already spoken about the nanometer technology, as you can see once again, 5 nanometer on Apple M1 Ultra, 10 nanometer on the Intel Core i9 12900K processor. Architecture is ARM V8 architecture 64 bit on the Apple M1 Ultra and the standard x86 64 bit on the Intel i9. And all other stuff is here like the release date and visualization, socket, etc. Socket is not applicable on Apple M1 Ultra, but it is definitely applicable on the Intel Core i9. So if you are interested in any more details, do pause the screen and have a look at these. Speaking about which processor is better, both of these do an excellent job on their own operating systems. On the i9, it will be a totally different scenario where most of the people would be running Windows 11 or Windows 10. Here we have Mac OS. That's a totally different scenario there. Definitely when we compare these two processors, Apple M1 Ultra is the better processor when compared to the i9. That's because of various reasons. Firstly because of the power consumption, heat, it generates well less heat when compared to the i9 processor and also it has got better graphics, also better CPU. So all of these factors makes the Apple M1 Ultra stand out when compared to the i9 12900K processor. So guys, this was a quick little comparison of Apple M1 Ultra with that of Intel's latest offering, that's the i9 12900K. What do you guys think about these? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram, links are on the description box. This is all about technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.